Worksheet 211 deals with growth funding. It actually makes the growth funding calculation for you at the end of each quarter. And we're going to take a look at a district that was growing quite a bit. We're going to go back to 20. I'm going to use FY20. The school district experienced growth in all four quarters that year. Act 741 of 2017 is the, is the place to go if you want to get more information with regards to how growth funding is calculated. There's, here's kind of a, a simple explanation. In FY20, we actually start with the fiscal year of the fourth quarter of the previous fiscal year. So when we're looking at FY20, the calculation begins with the fourth quarter of the previous year in 19. So we take the prior year ADM for the fourth quarter only, which was 1,964 students, and we compare that to the previous year, it would be 18 in this situation, three quarter average. And it does a calculation for you and just does a subtraction. Did you have more kids in the fourth quarter for 19 than you had in the three quarter average for fiscal year 18. And yes, the answer was it had 104 more students. So you take that 104, multiply that by one-fourth of foundation funding at that time, and that gives you your growth funding calculation that will be at the first quarter of that year. So this district would get $180,000. The same process continues going forward. So then during the first quarter of fiscal year 20, the first quarter ADM is compared to the previous year's three-quarter ADM average. So that's going to be your ADM for the fiscal year 19. How do those numbers compare? 32 more students. We multiply by that by one-fourth of foundation funding, so the district receives $56,000. Typically what the state does is after the fourth quarter and the first quarter, they will send you that payment about mid-year of fiscal year 20, and you'll receive those funds. And you can see the process continues, and ultimately the district received over $300,000. So when does this calculation occur? As soon as we get the quarterly enrollment, once that we get the state's information regarding first quarter ADM, then we enter that into this slot and then it'll do the calculation for you. So it's automatic and you'll see it immediately once we get the information from the state with regards to your average daily membership for each quarter. Now let's kind of look at a year here where the district had some growth funding. You can see they didn't grow in one quarter of the school year only. They did not grow previous fourth quarter. They didn't grow in the second quarter of the year or the third quarter. However, during quarter one, they did grow. So that growth calculation is $66,000. The district had declining enrollment the previous year Therefore, they were scheduled to receive $148,000 in declining enrollment. As you know, a school district could not receive both growth funding and declining enrollment in the same year. Therefore, they receive the amount of money that is the most, and that was declining funding for that school year. So you don't have to wait. You should know what your calculation is. You should know if you're receiving declining enrollment or growth funding in a school year. In this worksheet, 211, growth funding is a very good tool. Just check it back after each quarter, and you should know where your district is in regards to revenue, both growth or declining enrollment funding.